Beginning with version 5.5, Sage ACPAC ERP includes the integrated Sage CRM Customer Relationship Management System. This powerful combination forms the foundation of the Sage ACPAC Extended Enterprise Suite. The integration between these systems can be found at many levels, and in this tutorial, we'll start with the basics of how to promote a prospect in Sage CRM to a customer in Sage ACPAC. So let's jump right in and take a look. We'll use the Finder to locate A&W Services, a prospect that is about to make a purchase, so we need to promote them into our Sage ACPAC accounting system. There are two points that you need to verify before proceeding. First, if there are multiple contacts under the company, you need to specify which one will be the AR contact, which you can do by going to the People tab, selecting the person, opening their record, and selecting ACPAC AR contact. And secondly, if there are multiple company addresses, you'll need to go to the Company Address tab, select the applicable address, and check the ACPAC AR address box. Now we're ready to begin the promotion process. From the summary screen for a and Services, we'll click the Promote to ACPAC tab. If you're running multiple company databases in Sage ACPAC, you'll need to select the appropriate company. Notice that vendors can also be promoted. Clicking Promote to Customer brings us to the new customer screen that we'll fill out starting with the customer number. We'll enter AW001 and use the finder to see the available group codes that are defined in Sage ACPAC, and we'll select the Retail Sales Group, and for Tax Group, U.S. Sales Tax, and Net 30 Days for Terms, and we'll give them a credit limit of $15,000. If you're using optional fields in Sage ACPAC, you can make entries at this point or enter them later. Let's enter a value for their UPS zone, which we'll set to red. Now we'll click the Promote button to complete the final step. Once a company is promoted to a customer in AR, additional information will appear on the company summary screen. You'll find the Sage ACPAC customer number and Sage ACPAC company in the context area of the screen. You can also view their Sage ACPAC AR customer screen by clicking the hyperlink. Let's make a minor change to their address by typing in Drive and save the change. We get a message indicating that Sage CRM was updated successfully and we'll refresh the Sage CRM screen and there you can see it's been updated in Sage CRM. Importantly, the integration is bi-directional, so changes originating from either application will update the other. Once promoted, you'll also find some new fields in the company panel, including the group code, tax group, terms, and credit limit. You'll also find that the type field is now hard-coded to customer. You'll also have access to the other integration points, including AR inquiries, customer statistics, optional fields, order entry, project and job cost, and RMA. We'll take a look at these integration points in subsequent tutorials. And it's important to note that all of these integration points are controllable by security, so you can limit access as necessary. So to recap, with Sage CRM now included with your Sage ACPAC system, give us a call to begin taking advantage of the full Sage ACPAC Extended Enterprise Suite, especially if you're enrolled in the Software Assurance Plan. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.